Hi, welcome back to Easy Moto Tim. Today I'm going to introduce you to a travel routing program that I've used for several years. We'll install Tire to Navigate and do an overview of Tire's main screen. Tire is compatible with Garmin and TomTom Tom GPS's and you can export your routes to the built-in GPS system on your Harley, Honda, or Indian touring bike. I believe Tire to Navigate is in the middle between Basecamp and the Harley Ride Planner. It has many great features that make it more useful than the Harley Ride Planner and more intuitive than Basecamp. Tire has been around since 2006 and more than 500,000 copies have been downloaded. Previously there were free and pro versions of Tire. Starting with version 8, Tire includes all the pro features and is free, but you can make a donation. I highly recommend you donate to the developer to keep the improvements coming. This is the Tire homepage. You might want to bookmark it so you can get back to it. On this page there are a lot of links to important information. You can select uh, your language and if you look over in the sidebar there are links to some very important pieces of information. And here is where you can donate to the developer. Now you can download Tire by going to the download page and you can get there three different ways. You can click this button or download on the menu or download center here. Here on the download page you can download either the 32-bit version of Tire or the 64-bit version. This is a Windows only application and you also have to have Internet Explorer installed on the computer. You don't have to use Internet Explorer yourself but Tire uses a portion of IE to display the map. I'm going to download the 64-bit version. The Tire installation is typical for it any Windows application. I'll run through it quickly. Now the first choice you have to make is whether you want to use OpenStreetMaps or Google Maps at the beginning. We will use Google Maps. We got the API key for it and the features using uh, Google Maps uh, are a little better. Now on this screen you would fill in your API key. If you don't have an API key yet, I did a uh, video, the first one in this series, on how to get the Google Maps API key. If you haven't done that, there's some help on this screen. You can click this button if you don't yet have a Google account. This button if you have an account but need the API key. Uh, there are some help screens here and I'm going to now enter my API key and then I'm going to click OK. Now we get a preference screen to begin with and if you're going to use this with a uh, TomTom GPS then leave it set at TomTom. Otherwise if you have a Garmin GPS or if you're going to use this with a Harley or a Honda or an Indian GPS system then select Garmin. Also go to the map tab and uncheck display tire tips. Then click OK. Now tire installs a sample route um, so you can begin to work with it and see its features. Before we do an overview of this screen, I want to show you the help page on the internet. So you click this question mark button which brings up the tire help page on the website and if you click overview on the left you see the tire screen and sections of it outlined in red. Those are links so if you want to know something about the master toolbar you would click here. Click over here to find out about how to manipulate waypoints or favorites or the map itself. So for instance I'll click on the map 
and it brings up another screen with help on how to use each of the buttons. I'll close that now and we'll take a uh, view of the screen. At the top is a menu, typical drop-down menu, and we can see each of these uh, choices. I want to go to View, Overlays, and Uncheck Biker Hotels. Now, there are a bunch of buttons on the toolbar at the top. These apply to the whole program. This is an important one. It takes you to PayPal where you can donate to the developer. The first is new to create a new route. The second is a folder to open up an existing route. The next is save to save your route. We have cut, copy, and paste. So you can cut, copy, and paste um, waypoints from one route to another. You can email your route to uh, an email address. You can copy it to Garmin. If your Garmin GPS is plugged in, you can put your route directly on the GPS. And you can work with points of interest. So you can have either routes here in this list or you can have points of interest. You can put your routes into a library. You can work with Google Earth. You can transfer a route to Google Earth. You can create a touristic route. That means um, going on back roads between a couple of places. There's an undo and a redo button. This is to define your Garmin device. The next search is to search in the waypoint list. This button is for dragging and dropping uh, routes into Tire. I prefer to leave that button off. It's on now. You see it's outlined. I prefer to leave that one off. And we looked at the Help button to begin with. Over on the left in the upper section is a list of waypoints. As you add waypoints, it creates and extends the route. If you highlight one of the waypoints, it brings up a detail sheet and you can do various things with that waypoint. Down in the bottom is a favorites section. You can click on a waypoint and then click on this star button and add it to the list of favorites. So you can create a catalog of uh, favorite points, ones that you use uh, frequently. And if you highlight one, you can edit it or delete it. And it brings up a detail so that you can take one of your favorites and add it to the uh, itinerary or zoom in on it or you can delete it. This folder icon in favorites brings up this and you can create more than one group of favorites using this dialog box. Now in the waypoints section you have uh, uh, several buttons. First two are up and down so you can move a waypoint up or down. And you can edit it with the pencil, change its name, delete it, the star makes it a favorite. The double arrow allows you to invert the route. In other words, make the destination the start and the start the destination. These buttons have to do with legacy TomTom uh, -tom feature that allows you to mark a waypoint as one to be visited or one that you've already visited. And this one marks a waypoint as a destination or one that uh, destination that you've already visited. Now over on the map screen, these buttons refer to the current route which you see in the map. And I'll make, try to make that a little uh, 
easier to understand with file open. I'm going to open up one of my routes. This is a section of the Alaska Highway. So you see it put that route on a tab on this row. Here's the uh, sample route and here's the Alaska route. So the buttons, the way they're set now, apply to this route in Alaska and the buttons also then apply to this screen for this route. So the first button is to calculate the route or if you have a long calculation and you want to stop it, you can stop it. The third button is to calculate just a section of the route. So I'll go over here and highlight a few of the waypoints. The button becomes active and I can calculate just that section. If I unselect those points and hit calculate, we can redo the whole route. This button is for uh, factors that you've set, preferences you've set for driving or for motorcycle. If you're using Google Maps, you can play the route and the motorcycle will move along the route. It kind of animates it. This button is for what is they call roadbook and that's uh, your turn-by-turn -turn directions. Next you can print those turn-by-turn -turn directions or this button you can print the map. Now three of these four buttons have to do with preferences. You can choose to ignore seasonal closures or observe seasonal closures with the first button. The third button is to avoid or use highways. You can toggle those and avoid or use toll roads. And the way these are set is just for this route. This fourth button here is to set a date for the start of your route. Over here in this drop down, uh, you can choose what map you want to use. So if in your Google Maps is your default, then you can pick uh, different styles of, that are available from Google. We'll go back to the standard road map. We can um, also change our map to open street maps. If we go to tools, preferences, and the map tab, we can change from Google Maps to open street maps. Now it, this message says it's not going to change the route that's currently active on the screen. But if you close that route and then reopen the route, now we have the route on an open street map. And you, now in your drop down, you have various kinds of open street maps that you can use. I'm going to close the route and go back to Google Maps. Tools, Preferences, Map, Google Maps. OK, OK. And then I'm going to reopen that route. And now it's set on the Google Maps map. Then you have these uh, plus and minus on the map to uh, zoom in or out. You can roll your mouse wheel, which I'm doing now, and you can use your mouse to click and drag the map. 
Also, you see you have the uh, pegmen, and you can drop that on the route, and you have a uh, street view available to you. Now, there are buttons along the left here. This is to display all of the route, so that should put it in view, as you can see. When you um, highlight and click on one of the uh, waypoints, you can then put that waypoint in the middle of the screen by clicking this next button. This reduce is if you have a TomTom um, -tom GPS that has something like 39 waypoints as a limit, this will uh, reduce the number of waypoints so it will go on to the TomTom -tom GPS. This will pull a GPS position from your GPS if it's plugged in. And I'm going to click display all. This button is for off-road or on-road. When you're off-road, it's just straight lines drawn between points. And if you click it again, it will recalculate the route. This yellow box is a search bar for doing a quick search. And this information button opens up a box that allows you to write your own notes about the uh, route. Now that just about does it for an overview of the tire screen. In the next video, we will go into more detail with creating a route and transferring it to your GPS or thumb drive. Thanks for watching. If you want to support this channel, please visit the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.